Hello vault dwellers and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making the Bob Roth Brothers cabbage soup from the Fallout Cookbook. The ingredients that we are going to need are half of a head of green cabbage that I've thinly sliced and half of a head of purple cabbage that I've done the same thing to. You're also going to need four red potatoes that have been peeled and cubed up, one rib of celery that's been diced, a diced medium onion, and a diced medium shallot. We'll also need one peeled and shredded medium carrot, two Roma tomatoes that have been seeded and then diced, one tablespoon of measured and then chopped fresh parsley, as well as one bay leaf, four tablespoons or a fourth of a cup of butter, as well as eight cups of vegetable broth. And today I'm choosing to use four cups of home canned mushroom stock as well as four cups of a prepared store-bought stock. You could do two of these or you could do two of these if you can your own vegetable broth. It doesn't matter. It's still going to come out good no matter what kind of broth you choose to use. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get moved over to my stove and we'll get cooking. Alright guys, and now that our butter has melted and started to warm up and sizzle a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add in my celery, shallots, and onion. And I'm going to let these cook and soften for about 5 minutes. Alright guys, so our vegetables have been sautéing for 5 minutes. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in all my carrots as well as all this cabbage. And we're going to let this cook and soften down for 5 minutes as well. If I can get all this in here. <laughs> this is a lot of cabbage. While I'm doing this, I would like to remind y'all of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that Jake Gadeth and I have going on on our channels. It is a community-driven playlist made up of you, our friends, and YouTube family. If you guys would like to be a part of it, it's really simple. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video, and once you've done that, post it to your channel. And then let either Jake or I know in the comment section of our latest cooking videos or if you're part of our discord servers you can let us know over there as well the only thing that we do ask guys is that you mention the gamers and geeks playlist somewhere in your video as well as leave a link to it down in the description and that way we can continue to support all the fine people that have already contributed to the list so what i'm going to do is let this cook down a little bit before i add the rest of that cabbage in just to make a little bit more room in my pot and then I'm going to let this cook and soften up for an additional five to six minutes. Alright guys, I've actually been letting this soften up and cook down for about ten minutes now. And I think it's definitely time to start adding in our vegetable broth. And you're going to want all eight cups of this. I'm going to start with this uh, store-bought version. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my mushroom stock as well. This is going to give it a nice rich flavor. And all I need to do now is stir this up and I'm going to go ahead and drop in my one bay leaf. While I'm waiting for this to come up to a boil, I am going to go ahead and add in some black pepper now. The recipe says to season with black pepper and salt at the end, but I kind of like to let my black pepper cook in. Alright guys, and now that this is boiling, I'm simply going to cover this and allow it to simmer on low for 20 minutes and I will bring you back for the next step. Alright guys, at this point our cabbage has been simmering for 20 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and add in my potatoes now and I'm going to go ahead and stir those in then I'm going to cover this again and allow it to cook for an additional 15 minutes or until our potatoes are tender. Hey guys, and now that our potatoes are tender, you're going to want to bring your heat back up until it's boiling again. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our tomatoes and stir these in. Now that I've got my tomatoes stirred in, I've let it come back up to a boil. And all I'm going to do now is simply turn my heat back down. And I'm going to cover this and let it simmer for an additional 10 minutes. And then it should be just about done. So I will see you guys then. Alright guys, at this point all we're going to do is turn off our heat. Remove our bay leaf. 
and I'm going to go ahead and add in all this parsley. I'm also going to go ahead and season it for salt and pepper at this time. Now I have tasted the broth there and I do think it needs quite a bit of salt and a little bit more pepper. And this is all according to your family's taste on how much salt and pepper that you add. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all this stirred in then I'm going to taste the broth one more time to make sure that the salt is at the right level. Alright guys, I finally have this seasoned with the salt and pepper to my liking. I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl of this served up. We're going to move back over to my other counter, give it a taste, see what we think about it. Our Bob Rob Brothers cabbage soup is done. I've gone ahead and plated it up and let it cool down just a little bit. And I'm going to be serving it with some lightly toasted everything Italian bread. So let's get in here, give it a taste, see what we think about it. It does smell really good. It smells like fall. I love homemade soups in the fall. They always taste so good. Mmm. Very hot though. I will definitely be making this again. I think that the next time I do make it, I'm probably going to add some red pepper flakes just to give it a little bit more heat. A little bit of spice into it. I have a little bit of spice there with that uh, black pepper, but I think I could use just a tad bit more. So that is going to be it for me for the day. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my other Fallout cooking videos. I will leave links down in the description to them. If you guys like this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one.